It is a mystery that for over three decades swirled around the streets of Rome and the Vatican. The disappearance of the teenage daughter of a Vatican City employee. The most recent twist, on Thursday, the tombs in which her family had hoped to find her found empty. Emanuela Orlandi was the daughter of a prominent employee of the Vatican Bank. Then she vanished without a trace when she was just 15 in the summer of 1983. The family's lawyer received an anonymous tip which led the family to believe the teen's body was buried at the Teutonic Cemetery in Vatican City, a remote cemetery in the Vatican's closed-off gardens. According to the family's lawyer, a letter was sent to them in March with a photo of an angel above a tomb, saying, look where the angel is pointing. Over the years, speculation of Emanuela's fate has included reports of links to the Sicilian Mafia, KGB, and even a plot to assassinate Pope John Paul II. Now the search that has led to the tombs of a German princess and duchess, another disappointment. Vatican officials had agreed to open two graves as a part of an effort to solve the case. In a statement, the Vatican said the operation, which was preceded by a prayer, found no human remains. Citing a careful inspection of the tomb of Princess Sophia von Hohenlohe brought to light a large underground space of about 4 meters by 3.7 that is completely empty. Subsequently, the second tomb, that of Princess Carlota Federica of Mecklenburg, was opened. No human remains were found inside. The relatives of the two princesses were informed of the outcome of the search. Emanuela's brother, who had been leading the quest for answers to his sister's fate, was on hand for the event. I thought that today we could finally make a step forward, even if painful. Instead, we're at a starting point. But we do have now the Vatican cooperation, and I hope we will keep on being concrete.